See that? Can your bike do that? I don't think so. So this is a very different bike than what I usually build. Um, with this one we did a rear motor. So let's start up here and show you what I did on the front. Uh, worked my way to the back. So the front we did Rough Cycles fork. Um, also the BMX style front handlebar. Um, front fender. All this stuff in black has been powder coated to match. So it's all black, re-powder coated, all matching. Um, up front, I've done a little bit different headlight than I normally do. It's the big style uh, motorcycle for the bike, but inside is a 1200 lumen uh, LED headlight. And this one has three settings, high, medium, and low. This was completely waterproof now, and you can completely immerse the entire headlight in water, and it will still work and be totally fine. Uh, up front, we've got the new East Van Tropical uh, head badges. So that uh, symbolizes where you got your bike from. Even though it is a rough cycle spray, um, this is the Tango edition, the Tango S, that has the skull down here. And um, we painted that black to go along with the scheme of the bike, black and candy orange. Okay, this guy is definitely born to ride. This is one of the fastest bikes and most powerful bikes I've ever built. Top speed is 102 kilometers per hour. Um, it's running 3,700 watts of power to the rear motor through the DD45 rear hub. We're running a single speed, um, highly geared with a 58 front tooth sprocket. Um, finishing off with his iron cross pedals. So up on the top of the handlebar here, we have some really cool van grips. I like to use these ones that are super grippy. You can, you can hear how grippy it is. Um, over here is the throttle. And then we've got the voltmeter. We've got the key start. A little bit different than any of the other bikes I've done. Also a new addition to the bikes that I'll be doing now is the front brake. Um, it's always been hydraulic and uh, for the electric system, but now it's a uh, dual piston. So down here you'll see the dual piston, the new caliper. Very, very powerful. Going along with the 203 front rotor, so no problem stopping with this one. But here's the catch on this bike, everyone. This customer said to me, his name's Kerry. He said, listen, it has to do a burnout. So in order to make this bike do a burnout, you have to be able to hit the front brake and accelerate at the same time. Now, everyone knows on an electric bike that's almost impossible um, without disconnecting things and whatever. But for this bike, I've done my iconic hidden brake switch. So right here in the grip, you can hear, is my hidden uh, electric brake button for the regen. So now what you can do is you can hold the front brake and accelerate and do a burnout. So this thing does smoke show, um, no problem. So along with that, of course, you've got the, the regen button for when you're riding normally. So now when you're riding, you can actually activate the rear regen only. So by doing that, you're gaining a lot of regen uh, power back to the battery charging uh, because you're only using the regen to slow you down. So when you need to come to a complete stop or, or have a more strong stop, you can add a little bit of the front brake and that will stop you on the dime, no problem. And even going down steep hills, it's, it's, it's no problem at all. So now, let's get down to the, the brains of the operation here. So right here is the phase runner motor controller. We've done something extremely special on this bike. I've designed a, a special casing for the brand new 72 volt, 50 amp BMS. Um, that means it can run 50 amps continuous um, into the computer, but right now we're running 45 amps continuous into the computer to um, maintain um, the parameters of the controller and also to be a little bit easy on the battery. We don't want to fully max it out, but we also do want to suck all that, that tasty power out of there. Um, so this, um, of course, can produce as much power as you need to this, to this back motor through this controller, which is pretty much uh, maxed out. So that's how you're getting the, the top speeds. And then um, on the back side here, we've got the charge port. I made just a blank plug just to keep it clean. So between charges, uh, you don't get any dirt inside. Um, 
Of course, rim set situation is front rim is an 80 millimeter wide. We've got the Kenda tires on here, dual grip. So the, the grip goes all the way around the tire, which looks really cool. And then also I've got my custom valve caps that completely conceal the valve stem and keep it all clean and, and looking stealth. Um, the rear rim, we've got a 100 millimeter wide rim in the rear with the same, obviously the same tires, Kenda's. These tires, very, very good, lots of grip and uh, keeping carry safe on the road. Um, you know, riding these bikes is, is a lot of fun and stuff like that, but you can also get into trouble fast. And uh, being safe and having lots of grip and having strong brakes is very important. So of course, um, this bike also has fenders. The fenders have been bolted on um, in the top location where the dropout is. Um, this gives you lots of uh, room for movement and keeping it solid so there's no jingling around and stuff like that. Of course, the big badass Brooks B190 doesn't get any better than that for comfort, that's for sure. Um, and that's about it. This bike is going to be delivered today. Um, he'll be picking it up and um, another extremely happy customer I would assume. Okay, cool. Make sure you guys smash the like button if you like this bike. And I'm going to do some cinematics in one, two, three. Just showed him. <laughs> <laughs>